Hi, today we're constructing a line that is parallel to a given line through a point that is not on that line. So we start with line AB and point C, which is not on that line. And I will share my large screen so that you can see this. You should try this on your own. If you're stuck, I have written instructions for how to do this. And this video is also to help you if you're still stuck. So we'll start with this tool, a center through a point that uh, goes start with the center and it goes through a point. I'm going to drag from point C to point B. And this gives me a center uh, of C and a point B on the line. Now points A and B are independent. They, they do not depend on anything. Point C is independent. You can move it anywhere. But this intersection of the circle and the original line, point D is dependent. That's why it's a black. You'll notice I have circle C. CB and CD are both radii of the same circle, so they're the same distance. That means that C would be on the perpendicular bisector of BD, of segment BD. Now, let's construct that perpendicular bisector because we need that perpendicular line by making a center at B with BD as the radius and center at D with BD as the radius. And when I construct the intersection of these two circles, I get points E and F. Points E and F, I can draw a line through them. I will do that using my line tool. And you'll notice that point uh, C is on the perpendicular bisector. It does not matter where I move this. I can move it left or right. I can move it up or down. And it's still on that perpendicular bisector. Now, I will make this a little bit clearer to see. I hope it's clearer to see by changing maybe the style of this, maybe making it dotted and maybe making it a little bit less big and even making it a different color, making it orange. I'll make this line, which is the perpendicular bisector, orange because it's connected to these two circles. And now we need to construct a second line that goes through C that is going to be parallel to the existing line. That means it's going to be perpendicular to the orange line EF. And to do that, I need two points. I need to construct a perpendicular bisector through C. I need two points that are the same distance from C as this line is. Well, so I'm going to construct the intersection of this circle and my orange line EF, and I get points G and H. G and H are the same distance from C, so they're both radii of, of, uh, of circle C. I could have made a new circle there, but I didn't need to because I've already got the one circle. And I need to stop what I just did, go backward. I'm going to go from G to H and from H to G to construct two circles, from G to H. And where these two circles intersect, I use my intersection tool selecting the two circles, I get points I and J, and this makes my line. Now, when I, maybe I can make this a little clearer by changing the color and changing the style. I'll choose this line and this one, make them uh, dashed and make them a little bit smaller in size and make them green. You can see this large line here will make this green. So now you can see we have the original line AB, point C not on that line. And I have a line that is perpendicular to the original line, that's line EF, that goes through point C. It doesn't matter where I put it, it's still going to go through point C. I can move it left and right. It's always going to be connected. That's what dynamic geometry is. That's what this is geology, geology was dynamic. I can also move point B around. I can move it anywhere. And my lines still stay parallel and the orange is perpendicular. And so if you have two lines that are perpendicular to the same line, they're parallel. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So good luck and success.